on a simple dixin. Okay, let's see. This is what we've done. The model we've done on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? Now, in a simple note, this is the, the data has been filtered, processed, and all that. So this is the result we are having here. We're having this result, and it's made in 3D in such a way that you can entirely see the whole thing. Actually, this is the way the, the lines were actually lying. Is that not true? Huh? That this model now, I want you to look at it and say whatever you think you can say. Now, this is actually, I didn't tell you, okay, this is IP. This is IP section. IP section. Hmm? Not resistivity. We still bring out the resistivity, but this is IP section. Looking at the IP section, um, you can see here we have high chargeability here, we have here, we have here. Lowest are the blue ones, right? And we have some moderate ones along here. So, <clears throat> geologically, uh, whatever you need to say, you can say. So, I'll start from blessing. What can you talk about this section? This is line one. This is line two. This is line three. Is there not anything at all you can look at this thing and say, this is what you are looking at? Look at it. Look at it. Then now this is facing this way. Eh? This is the way the line we actually captured, not east southwest. Now, if I bring the line this way, that means here becomes your here becomes your east here is your west right okay so if i turn it this way this is line two this is line three up now what can you say Line three. Mm -hmm. Much eligibility. You can't really say that. Okay. Yes. Why do you think so? I'm not giving you numbers. So, uh, do you agree with that? Okay. You don't even really understand. Yes. You might not really understand because. But at least this is a 2D section we've actually acquired now on our ip this is if it's very clear that this is an anomaly is that not true is it not very clear that this is where you have a body that is actually highly chargeable right and this is at uh, close to 250 on a straight line this is the length of what we captured you know 470 meters remember is your x okay and is at the middle right now if you look at this this thing repeats here what is it telling you there's an extension of the body here up to this place and this space is 100 meter spacing that means at least you've established that this body is extending up to 100 meter is that true but if you look at here, it is not directly here because here at 250, this is 250. It's not really showing very clearly, but it's shooting somewhere here. So now, two things here. Remember. So it means it either is diverted this way, right? Or this is a different body. Because if you look at this, you can see a slight sign here, moderate anomaly here, not too clear. See it here, see it here, see it here. Now, two things here. You can, if you even look at here, if you look at here, you can also look at um, a moderate anomaly here. But here, if you turn it to this side, Huh? You see, it appears there too. You get it? 
Now, if you look at what controls your chargeability, maybe the, the interspaces or interposed spaces of the material are not well exposed, that the fluid, you know actually what causes it is the, how open the all spaces are to interact with current. Do you understand? Even if you have all that the, the, the surfaces are not well open and not dissolved in the fluid, or is not in contact with the water table, you might not even experience the chargeability that might be low. Does that make sense? Okay, now, now, if you look at here, I said, this actually is expected to be here. Is that not true? But if you look at it here, there is still a slight um, um, a sign of chargeability here. Now, definitely this is actually continuous. And this is 100 meter, 100 meter. Now, I say there are two things here. Now, this shows very clearly here. Shows here, but here it didn't show. It might be, if you understand what controls chargeability, the interpol spaces or interstitial spaces might not be well open. That the they are well charged because if you send in current and there is no reaction, if the spaces are not, if the pulse, if they don't open to the field, do you understand? Definitely you won't see um, uh, um, an elevated chargeability. Do you understand? Now, it might, that might be here, or there is a diminishing presence of this material here. Does that make sense? Or what you are looking at here, possibly diverted towards the direction, because actually this is actually controlled by fractures or cracks. Or this might be a different thing going in on its own, going in this direction. Or this might be an effect of edge noise. So you can you can't just clearly state this is but you now need to place all the scenarios, all the possibilities. Now, when you now have all the possibilities, say if it's not this, it might be this, if it's not this, it might so you now keep testing your anomaly based on all the scenarios for you to be able to say at the end of the day that this is what it takes. I don't know whether you understand. Does it make sense? Now, that is just it. Then, if this is the, on IP now, you can talk more on the formation, on structures here. Now, you can, let's check, um, let's check um, the resistivity, because this is an IP section. Okay. Um, Okay, let's uh, let's check that of the resistivity for one, for two, and for three. When we open that of resistivity, we can see. Um, let's renew this one with. Uh, rest. Okay, now, you see, now we are on resistivity. Are you seeing something? This is line three. You see what I'm saying? You see that the continuous anomaly, resistivity anomaly on these edges. This is the way you have high somewhere around here before and you're having it here too you get it now if you look at this this line three are you seeing an, a strong what is this there's a fracture here there's a fracture now can't you see a break a complete break this is a different formation. Is a, a different body 
There's a cut, a clear cut here. And remember that these are 250. <laughs> now, are you seeing the chargeability was controlled, is being controlled, it's found within a faulted zone. This line three showed a continuity. You see the essence of resistivity. Now, it clearly mapped out a faulted zone. Or a fractured zone, anyway. You understand, because you can see, you see, you can see it here. This is a different body, and you can see this. So, if you, you see, that is at 250. It's about 250. Huh? But this didn't really show it here. You get it? It was not very obvious here, but it was very, very obvious in line three. You get it? And here, there's an restricted anomaly that corresponds to rechargeability in line three. Do you understand it now? So if you look at this, you can see the surface weathered zone within here. You can see the fresh zone. Are you seeing it? And you can see the fault line. So definitely in this, if you're actually looking for mineral within this body, you should go to this in this area. That is your sense of perception. And it's very easy this way because we're able to prepare the model in 3D. So you can actually look at all the sites, understand what is going on, see how, how things are dipping and all that. So is that clear? And if you look at this, if you look at this body, this will tell you, give you some um, some indications of uh, within plotting the conductivity and all that. But if you look at this, you can understand this body is definitely going to be look like a sandstone. Yeah. You know, you are a geologist. You marry your geophysics with your geology. Because in the location, you know, in the location in line one, we are more of on a, a shield. On a shield. If you look at here, if I had a resistivity here, this body is resistive. This body is more of resistive compared to this body here, compared to this here. That is it. So, this might be talking, this might be definitely the, the sandstone. And this might be a boundary. <laughs> Are you listening? And it seems now the boundary goes this way. And it goes this way if, because you look at here, the boundary is not found here. But it appears here. If you look at put it here this way. You find out that definitely it's going somewhere like this. And that is what? That should be not, I think, not it, south it. Not it. Do you understand? Yes. Because if the boundary appeared here, you can see. That's why it diminishes here. You didn't see it here. And that is it. So this can be fractured zone, a boundary between the, the sandstone and the shale. You get it? Now, so, Yeah, that is, that is what? And now, and look at it. There is nothing you need to understand too. Now, you know, if you look at this place, there is a very low resistivity around here where we have high anomaly, remember? And here, that will tell you possibly that this is occurring in shale, and that is what it is. Occurring mainly in shale. So, it can actually resolve this in shale clearer than when it occurs in sandstone. So you only really need to understand the ability, the properties and characteristics of anybody you are working, the way it responds to current and all that. So you can see that's actually what you are looking at here. It appears here and here. This may actually possibly overshadow what you are actually trying to show here, but here it's very easy. Um, uh, resolved and clearer within this body. Does that make sense?